Hi everyone, good afternoon. How is everyone doing today? Um, you guessed it, I am still <laughs> out of work right now. <laughs> um, just waiting to go back. Um, and yeah, <laughs> I feel like it's been the same, same thing for like the longest time um, that they are keeping us out of work, they're canceling schools, and my husband hasn't like had class in what seems like forever, so I'm just going to send out a few invites today. I wanted to just do uh, a quick smoky eye because I'm not really sure if I'm going to do anything today, So, but I still wanted to come on and say hi to everyone and do a quick video and yeah, just see what everyone's up to because I feel like I'm like cooped up and like can't <laughs> can't get out of my house and I think I'm starting to go a little bit stir crazy. You might see like one of my eyes twitching or something. <laughs> All right. All right, that's fine. I'll just go ahead and get started. So what is everyone up to today in Facebook land? I feel like I'm looking somewhat ninja-like because of my all black outfit and like my hood on this shirt. I don't know what it is. Like whenever I put on black, I'm like thinking ninja and I feel like I should be out like fighting crime or something. I don't know. <sighs> hey Sarah, how are you doing, honey? It's been a good day so far. I've been productive. Um, I find that the more and more I've been cooped up inside, the more random documentaries I've been watching on YouTube. So that could be a good or a bad thing, but I am now a plethora of knowledge <laughs> from the YouTube world. It is crazy how many random um, documentaries that they have on uh, YouTube. It is crazy. I feel like they will make a uh, documentary out of almost anything nowadays, but I've seen some good ones. so. I think that that's going to be, like, it's been, like, my break from, like, YouTube videos, because, like, I watch a lot of, or I'm sorry, beauty, like, videos that I watch on YouTube, so <laughs> sometimes, like, when I hop on the treadmill, I'll watch just, like, a crime documentary, and then I end up just finding myself in the weirdest videos, so, <laughs> yeah. What are you guys up to in New York? How is the weather over there? I'm just gonna let this sit on a little bit so it can do its like youthful magic and take away like my under eye thingies. <laughs> now I'm gonna do my primer. Ugh, I'm still debating whether I need like my second or third cup of coffee today. Probably not because I'm already excited, so <laughs> we will see. So I'm gonna take my primer after and I'm gonna put it over the serum. And then I'm going to put it on my eyes. Take care of these pores that we have going on here. Oh my gosh. Yes. Like we're, um, so we're expecting uh, freezing rain today. Uh, the reason why our office was closed today is not because of the weather per se. There were some technical difficulties going on, so we just didn't have work today, but I'm assuming that they probably would have ended up like sending us home early anyways, because they're actually really good about that here, uh, because they don't have like they don't have snow removal like we do back home so they our employers are really good about getting us you know out or not like getting us out on the roads because they will close them and it's just nothing but snow and ice the amount of snow that is still on our roads right now from snow that came here like six days ago is just ridiculous the, the, like the amount of snow that's outside right now probably is what would have been left over after a foot of snow in New York. It's just they don't clear it or anything. And what they do clear, just because it's been so cold, it doesn't melt. I'm going to do the... Actually, you know what? First, 
I'm going to do the, I'll do the crease part of it first. See if that helps. I'll just do my palette one right here. And see how quick I can make this. I notice how long my makeup turns into, like when I am um, doing it on here as opposed to real life. People probably think I take like so long on my make makeup when I'm not here, but usually I can zip through. I'm going to do this color right here, the fourth right. And it doesn't have to be perfect. But I'm starting to find that the higher up I go on my eyes with this, the more, like, the bigger my eyes look. And I'm really enjoying that. And also because I have hooded eyes, so, like, the shadow doesn't always look right. You have to try harder to get your smoky eye in. Alright, I should just leave the house with this <laughs> and see if anyone would tell me. <laughs> I'm going to take this color right here, Zealous, and with like a fluffy kind of blending brush. Which, speaking of brushes, I have something fun to show everyone later. When my, whenever my mailman gets here, it's going to be pretty epic. I'm excited to show you guys. Since it doesn't have to be perfect, like I said, it doesn't matter if it's a little messy here because we're going to cut it anyways. This palette really is like a one-stop shop. Like you can do everything with this palette. You can highlight, you can do your brows with it, you can do your eyes with it. If I go on a weekend trip, it's usually this palette that I grab just because it's less makeup I have to pack and trust me, it's always a lot. So, <laughs> so I'm going to take the cream shadow brush. And now I get to use the Splurge Cream Shadow. This is a really, um, the reflection from the light that I have right now probably makes it look a little yellowish, but it's really just like a really champagne color. And I'm just going to pet this like right here on the lid. Alrighty, and then I'm going to take a flat top brush like this and I'm going to just blend these two together so there's not like a total harsh line. And 
then I'm going to take this color right here, Elated, and I'm going to use it as a highlight to kind of blend out this if it's like a little bit messy at all. And then I'm going to go in really quick with my liquid liner. I swear it's like so cold in here, like my liner is going to freeze. <laughs> Serious concern. And the tape helps a lot too because you can just follow that with your liner and it's not as hard to kind of try and keep up with the straight line because mine usually ends up either going like down or like this weird crooked, I don't even know. And then I'm going to take my liquid foundation. This stuff is gold. I rave about it every day. Can't help myself. I'm definitely going to try next is our... We do have like a touch, like a pressed liquid foundation. Can you even say maybe it's like a cream foundation like that you get in palettes and I'm definitely, definitely going to try that. Cause it's been like a little while since I had tried like the pressed cream foundation and hey Tiff, welcome back girl, it's been a while. <laughs> I know I miss talking to you too. I'm using your palette here. I'm trying to do like an all in one look with it. So if you missed the beginning part, I totally want to see any looks that you do with it. Have you, um, you have got to try this color right here, Sincere. Try this as your highlighter. I, I've, like, discovered that the other day and I haven't stopped since. Because, like, I have a hunch and I'm really hoping that we release, like, a highlighter this year. But until then, I'm like, no. I'm going to figure out how to make this work and I've been using this palette for my eyebrows, my eyeshadow and as like my highlight too. It works so well. It's amazing and it just stays. So apparently you're supposed to go down in like a triangle motion in order to get the highlight working if you use your concealer for highlights what I heard but it works better than to just put it like underneath here because it draws the light like down your face you can also take like where is it setting powder and I was talking about how like cheap this stuff is just take setting powder and look at that. Do you guys see that? It's like I'm about to do a magic trick. 
I hope you guys can see that smoke and I'm not just sitting here looking like a retard, but that's okay. All right, you can just put this underneath and then it kind of helps to brighten up your face a little bit too. So either or. You can use it to cut your contour as well. And since I'm feeling a little cold today, I'm going to go in with some bronzer. And kind of just dust it around just because I'm feeling like I need a little sun in my life. Alrighty, and then I'm actually going to take the sculpting trio right here, which is so much fun because you get to choose like what colors you use, but it shows you like how to apply your contour and everything. So this is so much fun to use. And this is the brush that you can get with it as well. So I find that if you just like apply the contour with this brush and then kind of like like do it thin like this and then turn it sideways and work it in so you don't get the harsh line. I know that I haven't done my mascara yet, but I'm going to do my brows and I'm going to do this color right here for my brows depending on what color you have. And the powder just like clings very well. Like you don't have to do a lot to blend it in. You know what I mean? So there's the difference between the two with the powder or with the shadow, I should say. So, I mean, get a million uses out of this. Actually, I'm going to go in and just do underneath my eyes real quick. And I'm using the same color that I used in my brows. Putting it underneath to give it just a little bit of smoke. Nothing fancy. Okay, and I'm going to go in with my mascara. And you're always going to want to like swivel the brush to my ladies that just got their hands on it. Instead of pumping the brush and drying it out, if you just kind of swivel it inside and then pull it out, it's going to keep from getting air in there and drying it out.
you guys can see from the side how like crazy that length is and that's just from one coat I usually do two depending on how fancy oh hey brotar um I'm sorry I don't have any music because sometimes they'll flag videos if there is music playing sorry to bum you out I'm gonna have to be your your uh hype man is that what it's called hey hon you should come say hi to brotar I'm on the phone oh <laughs> but hi brotar <laughs> chance says hi no I haven't he's currently walking around hiding from me <laughs> Yeah, so they will actually flag your videos and make them, like, they will take them down if there's, like, they call it, like, copywriting music. So, yeah, trust me, I would. I would honestly do something probably really dramatic, like the Titanic theme or something, and just slow motion, like, applying my mascara, because it's just epic. He's been losing in pool. Him and that dang game. Seriously. <laughs> I don't know how he does it. I'm more of a darts girl myself. And, of course, the difference. You can see from the side. Length is amazing, y'all. I'm thinking that I need to get my hands on our liquid lipstick soon. I'm like actually compiling a list of more products of ours that I'm just dying to get my hands on and try them so I can show them to you guys and let you know what I think about them. I was always like, I think that YouTube was like one of the best inventions, especially for the beauty community because like we're able to see these things actually like not just a picture or a ad on Facebook or online like you can actually see like real women using them and I think that that's definitely what shows you like whether a product works or not uh, the product that I'm getting in today that I'm going to go live either today or tomorrow I really want to do it today uh, is this new um, it's like a brush cleaner and it has attachments that attach to the end of your brush and then it's like swirls them in like a bowl of water and it's supposed to be an insane cleaning tool so I can't wait because I don't clean my brushes as much as I should guilty like as charged <laughs> I should but I don't it's just one of those things because like doing it the manual method like actually having to clean every brush out by hand I use a million a day so that's gonna take a while oh wait did I even apply it to my bottom lash sometimes I get talking and I forget Alrighty, now I'm going to apply my blush and my highlight, which I told you guys I actually found my blush that I had, like, that I used on a daily basis, and I lost it, like, in my makeup kit, so, and then I finally found it. It's sad when you lose makeup in makeup, just what happens, my life. And then a fun trick that I've been doing lately because I've been like just sad that we don't have a highlighter is taking this shade in Sincere right here, whoop, pop, really glare, shine bright like a diamond, <laughs> just using this as my highlight. 
So I will show you guys how awesome this stuff is. If I can find the right brush that I want to use. Where are you? Yeah. I really need to try that trick. So I did post, let me see. It was like if you take a bobby pin and you put it on your brush like this, it turns it into a fan brush. So let's see if that actually works. Huh, maybe it does. Just a little. That's pretty cool, but it looks like it's about to go shooting off um, <laughs> the end. So let's just try this out and see if it works. I'll be y'all's guinea pig. Definitely helps me get it in the color a lot easier, that's for sure. Okay, I'm impressed. But check out that highlight, though. It works pretty well as a highlight. And you can use it as a highlight on up here as well. But isn't that pretty sweet? I have to say, though, this, pro this like bobby pin trick probably doesn't work that well with brushes that are actually poofy. And you might actually mess up your brush that way. But that was still a fun experiment nonetheless. And then I'll just do a little of this. Won't do it too heavy. And there you have it. That's just my like everyday like smoky eye that I like to do. And I mean it's pretty quick, like a lot quicker than if I like wasn't talking the whole time, but I love this. Um, yeah, I think it's going to be fun to like sit inside and enjoy this on my snow day or snow day, whatever. <laughs> so I'm going to get going, guys. Thanks for hanging out with me, and I will talk to you later. If you have any questions as far as the products that I've used in the video, always comment on the video, or you can send me a message, and I will get back to you, and have a good day. Bye.